experience for me. That was a long answer. I, I don't know. I can't do short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we like long answers at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Um, I was wondering how you decided, in, or why you decided to go to the Central High School. Because it was there, okay? I mean, I think that uh, the assumption might be that there was some great, special thing in me that suggested to me that I should go to Central. But it was 11 blocks away, and I could walk. So we open the Central Library. Two best friends and I, and another really good friend, I'll sign up. And we were four of the people who were selected in the end. So I don't know what this, everybody claims to know what the selection process was. I have no idea. So I say the selection <laughs> process was about me, that I made that, just sign my name on this little sheet of paper. And the other part of that that I want to really explain is, we didn't have any sense of institutional racism. And we sort of thought, OK, it's not going to be great, but it's going to be tolerable, I think. So um, always keep in mind that historical icons are just regular people and made sometimes really stupid decisions, as I could say that was and don't know why they're making that decision and aren't aware of what the consequences are. So I had the clue, we didn't have a clue, we were so sh shocked on the first day, we're still reeling from that shock. I mean, it, it will never heal from that, you know, ever, ever, because it was this sort of American brainwashing process that convinces you, even when you're living in the most desperate conditions, that this is the best place on earth. It isn't, and we have to understand that. It's not, it isn't. It's one of the best places. And I was in Cape Town, South Africa, and I was with a group of American teachers. And as they passed by the townships, which are really pretty, um, shocking. And they said, oh, these poor people. I said, wait, excuse me? They have low-rise townships, we have high-rise townships. Because you don't know what's going on in places of deep American poverty. And it's, if you're poor here and you're poor there, it's the same. So, um, we have to just stop patting ourselves on the back all the time about how we're the best because even though I lived in a segregated society in which I could be killed like Emmett Till if I said the wrong thing to the wrong person, I was convinced that that liberty and justice for all, boy, that works. So I was brainwashed just like everybody else and thought that I was safe and that the enemy was outside, and we have to be also be really careful about being persuaded that every all the problems are outside us. They're here. They're with us. They're part of our lives in all kinds of ways. And um, 